Hello students. Today I have chosen the topic of photochemistry. The topic of photochemistry is common for both graduation and post graduation students. So I am going to tell you something about the basics of photochemistry. A very important branch of chemistry is photochemistry where we deal with the study of interaction of light with the matter. As the name suggests, photo means light. So in this chemistry, we are going to learn about the interaction of light with matter. In this topic, I am going to first tell you that what is the fate of a molecule when it comes across light. I will take an example. This is our ground state. This is our excited state. There is a molecule in the ground state which gains light or absorbs light and moves to the excited state. From ground state to excited state, the transfer of molecule takes place only by absorption of light. So, the light in the form of energy is transferred to the molecule for its excitation. But the molecule being at excited state is not stable. Why? Because it is having high energy. And energy is inversely related to stability. So the molecule tries to come back once again to the ground state. The molecule which tries to come back to the ground state helps in four processes. The four processes are explained by the help of Jablonowski diagram. Jablonowski was a scientist who has given a diagram to show that how a molecule from excited state moves to the ground state. So this I will be explaining with the help of Jablonowski diagram which shows us the fate of molecule while it comes from the ground state to the excited state. This is my ground state denoted by S0. This is the first excited singlet state S1. This is the second excited singlet state S2. This is a triplet state P1. The molecule while moving from ground state to excited state can move from S0 to S2 or can move from S0 to S1. This process is by the absorption of light. So I have written plus H mu plus H mu. Now the molecule which is already in the S2 state or S1 state tries to lose its energy because energy is inversely related to stability. So the molecule can undergo four processes. These four processes are first this process of the energy from S2 coming to S1 is called internal conversion. Internal conversion denoted by IC in shortcut. The second process where the excited state is converted into the ground state is the process of fluorescence. The third process of energy or the molecule which is present in the S1 state and coming to T1 state is called the inter-system crossing that is ISC and the fourth process of the molecule returning back is from the T1 to the S0 state called the phosphorescence. Out of these four processes internal conversion, fluorescence, inter-system crossing and phosphorescence the internal conversion and the inter-system crossing are the non-radiative processes. And the fluorescence and the phosphorescence are the radiative processes. Now, the difference between the radiative and non-radiative process is the fact that in non-radiative processes like IC and ISC, the energy is lost in the form of heat. And in radiative processes like phosphorescence and fluorescence, the energy is lost in the form of light. So this is a conclusion of Jablonowski diagram that we are actually concerned for the excitation of a molecule from ground state to excited state and we are going to study its fate that how is the energy from the excited state coming back to the ground state. Now the excited state is basically of two types. First one is a triplet excited state and the second one is a singlet excited state. When a molecule in the ground state moves to the excited state with opposite spin, this state is called the singlet state denoted by S. And if a molecule moves to the higher excited state with the change of spin, this is called the triplet state. 
all these states F0 ground state, first excited singlet state and second excited singlet state I have shown with the help of a symbol S. So wherever I have written S word, they denote the singlet excited state and T state denotes the triplet state. When the molecule moves from singlet state to triplet state, the spin changes. That is why it is called spin intersystem crossing. Thank you students.